Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back here to another episode of Lip Ripping Outdoors. I'm currently turned this way, so hopefully you guys can hear me with the wind in my back. Um, anyways, we're back out here at Strawberry Reservoir. This is possibly the last one this season. Let's go ahead and give it another shot with you guys here. Um, we did have to fight just some snow today. It's not terrible, but it's definitely not the safest if you only have two-wheel drive. Anyways, we got the sled all loaded up. We're going to get down there in the water, pop some holes, and see if we can locate ourselves some fish. So let's get to it. I'll tell you what, this is one of the easiest sled pack-ins I've done. <laughs> so for those of you who are wondering how much ice is still strawberry, these are four-wheeler tracks on top of the snow still. And there are two snowmobiles out there still. Okay, early March, and the ice is still thick. Yeah, hold on, I'm gonna set the fish finder here with the GPS maps on it. We can find a good point of structure out here. I haven't ice fished this part of the lake before, guys, so I'm just gonna kind of show you. Honestly, on strawberry, it doesn't really matter where you fish too much. Um, in terms of on the lake, there are literally fish everywhere. There are definitely spots better than others, but it's really helpful if you have electronics, look for points of interest that those fish like to hang around. Um, and it's also just helpful because you can see if there's fish in the area. Yeah. There we are, there's a good old garbage. So. We both suck. I said we head just a little bit more that way and we'll try it right there. This should be good right here. Let's pop a hole. Check our depths. Well, ice is still plenty thick. Holy shoot! 15 and a half inches, guys. I think we're safe still. Okay, let's see what we're working with here. Just dropped the fish finder down and we're already marking the fish down there on the bottom. I forgot what I have tied up on here. Ow. Yeah, there's fish down there now. Do you see it? He's on ya. Oh, oh, he came up to mine. Little rainbow. Rainbow. Got him. Fish on. Fish on. Yeah, yes, yes. We're hooked up. We're hooked up. <laughs> it's a bow. It's a nice rainbow. Oh my gosh. We might eat this one. Oh my gosh, look at this beautiful rainbow trout. Oh my gosh. <laughs> look at that gorgeous bow, guys. Oh, wow. Watermelon fish? Watermelon fish. Watermelon fish. <laughs> look at that. That guy came in, didn't think twice about it. Look at that gorgeous specimen of a rainbow wow. trout right there, folks. Beauty. Hey, do you mind getting a picture with me? Of course. Thank you. Gorgeous rainbow trout out of here at Strawberry. Look at that pink. Alrighty everyone, get one last good look at this beautiful rainbow. Pretty fish. Alright, I'm gonna uh, dispatch this guy and leave him out here in the cold so he stays fresh. We're gonna go and catch ourselves a few more. Okay, we're pulling out some of the bigger guns here. Some Maniac Lures Gizzies. It's a shame as they are not making these anymore. Because these are literally some of the most fish catching Lures for ice fishing I've ever used for trout. There we go, doesn't that look tasty, folks? Tip that with our neck crawler. Now it's actually got some profile down there, some color. will stand out there, down there a little bit better. Alrighty, everyone. And on the other jig here, we got a little kamikatsu hook with a maniac lures um, cutter bug. Tipping that with some. Nightcrawler, once again, these guys are out of business, which is a shame. <laughs> I might fish with this one. <laughs> that was a rainbow. Oh, he's coming on me, back on me. Oh, he's nipping it. No, 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 come back, come back, come back, come back. Oh, he's right there, he's still there. He's still there. You see him down your hole? He just shot away. Oh, wait, oh. Watch, no, he's on me. Get him, get him. 
him. Get him. He hasn't left yet. He's going for you. He's going for you. He's going for you. He's going for you. Come back, fish. Eat what? me, not her. I mean, she needs it, but I want it. Oh, oh cut through on me. Cut through on me. Cut through. You can have that rainbow. Okay. This is a big cutty. It's not me. It's a fish. This cut on definitely big. Yeah, I got the cut. He's definitely bigger than those bows. Yeah, I'm better shush because last time I trash talked to Easton, I lost the fish. <laughs> this is lighter line, so I'm really playing him. This is only three pound test. Got him. He's not huge, but he's definitely bigger. Yes! <laughs> there we are, guys. Second species today, beautiful, another beautiful <laughs> specimen. This is a Bear Lake strain of cutthroat trout right out here, Strawberry Reservoir. We're quick measuring on this guy. 17 and a half. There we are, guys. Get a good look at this beautiful specimen of a cutthroat trout out of here from Strawberry. I'm gonna unhook him. Actually, give him a quick breather here in the water. After taking those pictures. All right, unhook him real fast. These, so cutthroat trout, fun fact for you and all the viewers, out here in Strawberry Reservoir, cutthroat trout have a slot limit. You cannot keep the fish between uh, that are between 15 and 22 inches. So this guy will have to go back. You're allowed to keep two under 15 inches and one over 22. But this beautiful specimen. Get this guy back down here. There he is. Awesome. <laughs> Woo, multi-species, baby. Get this little jig right back down there. See if we can pick ourselves up just a couple more fish, maybe, and then we're gonna head out of here. All right? All right. It's coming to me. It's coming to me. Oh, he nipped it. He nipped it. Got him. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good cut too. It's a decent cut though too. There he is. He's already coming up the hole. Come here, buddy. He's definitely a better one. Ah, get up here. Get up here. Yes. That was another oh nice cut. Look at that, guys. Fish number three. Second beautiful cutthroat trout there. Look at that fish. Wow. Beauty. <laughs> you know, the sad thing is if we switch rods, I'll still catch fish and you'll be sad. <laughs> Fishing specials. All right, guys. Beauty cut it. Cut it again. I promise it's not the same one. Let's get him back. Whew. A little fish slap goodbye. He probably got water in the lens. Yes, he did. That was, that, that was a lesson... 15 minutes since the last fish. You are right? grounded. From, from fishing? <laughs> from fishing. Well, sorry. <laughs> Just, <laughs> I got nothing to say. <laughs> okay. There were multiples there at one point. Oh, my jig's gone. Oh, is it? Yep. Okay, I'm out. We're done. We're done. I'm out. <laughs> oh, it's another. Oh, it's a nice rainbow. It's a nice rainbow. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> yes, I was recording. I'm done. <laughs> hey, but, hey, calm down. Calm down. Beautiful rainbow. Jeez. Oh. Oh, jeez. Yeah. All right, my fourth fish of the day. Beautiful rainbow. This one's bigger than one of the cuts, I think. 16 and a half inch rainbow trout. Not too bad if I say so myself. Get, the, get this guy back here. Beautiful. It's actually this. Uh, nope, this one doesn't have all of its fins. It is stuck. Alright, see you later, beautiful bow. There it is. So, little tip for you guys. If you're struggling fishing your bigger baits, or maybe you are fishing these smaller ones, you're not struggling, but. If you're fishing bigger baits and not get any bites, maybe downsize. That's just a general rule of thumb though, but late season ice like this. Little jigs. Oh, there's multiple. They're on me too. Okay. Well, they're all over me. They were. Of course they're all over me. They were. Don't worry. They're not anymore. Wait, that one is. Oh, that one nipped me. He's come back. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, he nipped it again. That's the one. <laughs> you scared the freaking fish! <laughs> when I caught mine? Yes! <laughs> oh, this one's pulling. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Another good rainbow! You scared the fish! <laughs> Sorry. <No. laughs> did, did, did they really all scatter when yes. I hooked him? 
you know, it's been a while since I've caught more rainbows out of strawberry than I have cutthroats. And he wanted that little guy. Well, that little jig. You are lucky I am. Oh man, I really want to keep another one. Can I keep him? Can I keep him? You can keep him. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take this one home too. Yeah. Because if I don't eat him tonight, we will vacuum seal him. <laughs> a little something for you guys here. Definitely a rainbow, no doubt about it. Everyone says, look, this is a little confusing for some people. That does have slash marks in his gills. I could cut through, but he is under the slot of 15 inches. So we are still safe for, in that sense. Just a little fun fact for everyone. Rainbows can have those slashes. But if you're not for, if you're not 100% sure, like with this guy, I know it's a rainbow, put it back. Well, he is under the slot, so we're legal either way. Yeah, well, I, I looked down a, I looked down a hole and he spat it out and he shot back around to it. What is it? Rainbow? Oh, it's another bow! The bows are coming up shallow to spawn. It's just that time of year. Oh my gosh! Maybe I should have thrown the other one back and kept you. Maybe I could still keep you. You're gorgeous! This one needs a picture. Yes. Check it out guys. Another beautiful rainbow trout. This one's a fatty. And this one's gonna make a meal. <laughs> <laughs> Here, unzip that. Alrighty everyone, as you can see, the sun is officially setting out here. Got our gear all loaded up back in here with our trout. We're gonna get these guys back home, flame up, and then we'll do the catch and cook for y'all. So, we'll see you back at the house. Trout here from yesterday. As you see, they're a decent size. Got a little flame knife here. I'm gonna go ahead and just make an incision right there behind the gills. Cut down to the spine, turn our blade. I'm just gonna cut flat with the spine now. Fold that all the way down. There we go. Nice clean cut there along the spine. You can see no meat wasted right there. Flip it over to the other side. Helpful if you have a sharp knife for this. Let that blade flex, let it work for you. Flip that over, bam. Another beautiful filet of trout meat, nice orange meat. It's good when you see that on trout. A whole lot of clean water, look at that, like right along the spine too. I mean the rib cage there. I mean, this is awesome. Take that carcass, you can see, paper thin. Don't waste any meat. You know you got good trout meat. Well, first off, these are all strawberries. It's a high mountain lake. They got good food in there, good clean water. But if it's orange like this, it's great stuff. If it's white, like you're gonna catch out of your local ponds, those little stalkers that they've been just eating on pellets at the hatchery, they're not the best meat. They don't have the best flavor. These guys up in the mountains are eat minnows, crawdads, bugs, whatever's in the water. Good clean meat right here. So we're gonna come in here. See, you've got this rib cage with the rest of the guts in here. So we're just gonna take our sharp knife and follow those ribs down. Like so. Okay, now we can dispose of that. This is just meat here and some skin. You can leave the skin on if you want and just pan fry it with the skin down. In this case, we are gonna bake these. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the skin off. Might not do this with all of our fish fillets, but I am doing it with this particular one here, just for example. Boom, there you are. Beautiful fillet of trout. Just set it over there. Rinse that off and it's going to be cooking. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of the rest of our trout. And then we'll uh, see you guys when it's time to cook them. All right, everyone. Uh, time to season up these guys here. So I got uh, two of our, oh, well, sorry, three of our trout fillets here. And then I just went ahead and uh, we had some kokanee fillets from the other day too. So I went ahead and threw those down here with them. They're going to taste better, but we're, the trout's going to be amazing anyways. Uh, starting off here, we're going to do a base layer of just some lemon pepper. We're gonna try to keep it real simple here on the seasonings. You don't want to overdo it. You can use seasonings of your choice. I just like to not get too complicated with them and too fancy. Just some good old basic seasonings. Even if you just did salt and pepper, it's great. You get the flavor from the fish with a little accent from the seasoning. Um, I would like some garlic salt. I don't have any. We have some garlic and herb seasoning though. So we're gonna dash a little bit on the fish here. And then last off, this is one of my favorites. 
Uh, Kinder's Buttery Steakhouse. This is great for steaks, but I've recently started using it for fish and it is amazing. I've actually been at, uh, added some of this to the rice that we're gonna have with this fish too. This is amazing. I think this stuff's at like Costco. I don't remember exactly, but it's good. All right, should've done this while I was uh, prepping the fish, but we're gonna preheat our oven here to 350 degrees for these fish. Get that going underway. And uh, while that's heating up, we're not gonna bore you with it, but we're gonna slice up our vegetables, so yeah. Alrighty guys, one last step here before we throw these guys in the oven. Got some uh, butter on our trout here. I would like to drizzle them with some olive oil, but I don't have any today, that's okay. But we do have some lemon juice, so we're gonna go ahead and just squeeze some fresh old lemon right all over these guys. All right, perfect. Oven is preheated to 350. Get these fish. Throw them on in there. Give them a few minutes. I don't have an exact time for you, but I will keep watching on them. All right, everyone, but check it on these fish here and there. It has been 10 minutes now, and they are looking about ready to pull out. So just shut off the oven. Don't you get a load of that? That's the rainbow fillets. Those three on the left. Those two on the right are kokanee. I gotta say, these things are looking fantastic. All right, check this out, folks. This fish is ready. It is definitely flaking away. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Here, breathe. Here is a little chunk of some fresh rainbow trout through the ice yesterday. <laughs> Ooh. That's <laughs> good. Yeah. All right, everyone. Time to build ourselves a little taco here. Got a little tortilla. Open up our batch of rice here. Look at that. It's looking amazing. It smells amazing. Someone's been snacking on it. Nope. <laughs> There's just a little bed of rice there to lay our fish on onto. Taco slash burritos we're making here. There's just a little generous amount of trout off the plate here. That should be good. Come over here. Got a little assortment. Throw some tomato on there. A bit of variety, we don't discriminate with the veggies. We got some jalapenos because we like some kick in our life. Some cilantro. We're gonna do some lime juice with this one. Throw some onion in there. And then a little slice of avocado. And then for toppings, we're gonna throw some sour cream in this ish. Just a little enough. Oh, that came out. <laughs> We got some uh, Verde taco sauce we're just gonna top in there as well. And just a dash of Frank's Red Hot because I put that fish on everything. We're making messes on the camera. <laughs> there you go. There's your pretty Instagram shot right there. Roll up our present. Take yourself a seat. Kick back, relax. I need my Mountain Dew. I'll get that in a little bit. Going for a little sample here of this uh, trout nest that was just caught within 24 hours. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah. You are gonna want to put that in the camera in a second here. Okay. Guys, I mean, that's amazing. Ooh, there's a the jalapeno. Put whatever you want on it. That's really amazing. Okay, you can start making yourself a taco. Okay, I will do that. Right. My ears look so fancier than mine. <laughs> You like? Oh yeah, <laughs> that's way good. That'll uh, motivate you to catch a few. <laughs> Take oh it yeah, out. looks amazing. Mm -hmm. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Perfect. Hit that like button, right? Do it. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Alrighty, everyone. That's gonna wrap it up here for today. Thank you for watching this video so much. If you enjoyed it, be sure to that like button down below, just like this. Dude is, it's just a thumbs up. You gotta hit that like button. And consider subscribing to the channel if you guys haven't already. That way you can stay tuned for the next episode of Lip Ripping Outdoors. And uh, next time you guys are keeping some fish, maybe try some tacos, or maybe consider trying out some fish. It's fantastic. Anyways, guys, got nothing else to say. Until next time, tight lines, and I'll catch you later.